Welcome back to Blar. I actually went to my LCS, as the term goes. So I went to a couple LCSs the um, past couple weeks. One near me is way too expensive. Uh, I found one a little further out. You have dollar books. That's where my price point is for comic books these days, is the $1 bin. So I found this G.I. Joe. So TDP, never read it, never heard of this. So I did get a chance to read this one, and I, I did like the story. Uh, it's cool, the front and back. You have Cobra and Joe, so... So it's pretty good. I did enjoy this story. So that is the first pickup. So I grabbed Transformers vs. G.I. Joe, or the crossover from DW. I hated this book. I did get a chance to read it. Uh, it kind of has some, a little bit of wokeness in it. Uh, everyone kind of talks very self-important. I really didn't like this comic at all. This was good. This I did not like. I thought it was going to be cool, hopefully, because it has a cool, like, war-torn Megatron on the front. So it was a cool cover. So I got those. These were loose, not in uh, any kind of packaging. It's still in okay condition. But like so mine, I grabbed the reed. Mostly these days, check out. Then I found some cool Spider-Mans. So, Championship Wrestling, this Friday Night Only, Tag Team Mayhem, Crusher Hogan. So I just like, I'm a big wrestling fan, so I really like the uh, this cover. No idea what it's about, but I did like the way it looked, so grab that. This cover is... Probably one of my favorites now. <laughs> Legacy of Evil. Green Goblin back there on the collider in black and white. Uh, I like this art style for Spider-Man. Yeah, I really like this uh, Green Goblin in the background, like over the city. Looming over the city. Looks really good. So he also had some Spider-Man classics, which I grabbed. First Blood. You got Goblin again. Classic with Electro. So I always liked, I would see Green Goblin's probably my number one pick for Villain's Rim. And then I liked Electro a lot. So Vulture, not a big fan of Vulture. But definitely a staple villain. So those were the Spider-Mans I picked up. And I picked up a Vigilante comic. I used to see Vigilante all the time. As a kid, but I didn't read DC really. I mean, I paid attention to Super Friends and the cartoons, but I didn't really pick up too many DC books. I don't know, maybe a Batman here or there. But this one is him versus Cyborg. So I am a big versus fan when it comes to comics. I want to see a fight more than I want to see some backstory about their feelings. <laughs> Being a Superman fan, I grabbed this one again versus the Legion of Superheroes. And the cover looks about right. <laughs> and another Avengers West Coast. I used to always call it West Coast Avengers. I guess it's Avengers West Coast. So Hawkeye versus U.S. Agent. I'm a big U.S. Agent fan. I think you guys hilarious. Another G.I. Joe Transformers crossover. This is an image one. So I did read this one as well, and it was it was so much better. <laughs> it was such a better comic than the DW one. I enjoyed this one way more. So the story was a lot. The characters were more how the characters should be. It was just a better comic. And I had to pick up a Conan book. I thought this cover was really cool. Dark Horse Comics. So it looks like it's maybe a promotion, being a zero and 25 cents. So I guess I overpaid for it. And that's all right. <laughs> so it looks cool though. I like that Conan art. But I really, probably the favorite out of these. I like this one a lot. This was a good story. Uh, I would say that Spider-Man Legacy of Evil cover. This is my favorite cover out of these. And uh, probably this one too. And oddly, that Megatron cover. <laughs> so... But yeah, I'll say these two. This one just because it's just a little bit um, off the norm. 
Thanks for watching Triple R. Have a good day or night, wherever you are.